Hey there guys, this is Basing Earth 313 here with the continuation of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Let's Play. Last time we left off, we... What was it? Was it the Exodia battle or something? That, that we last left off? Whatever. Uh, whatever is after that, I think, is uh, the next thing. This thing, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, how many more do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Nine, okay. So I got nine duels before we actually get to the GX series. This should be fun. So without further ado, let's continue. Oh yeah, one guy said that he actually really liked the voice acting in there. I'm surprised I did, but so uh, I guess I'll continue that onward. I guess this is also a good way for me to um understand the story as well. So uh, hey, why, why the fuck not? So let's do this. Anyways, as the bat, uh, it's a ro well, oh fuck it. As the bat, let's just that's a Marriott or something. As the Battle City Tournament continued, Merrick learned that the Egyptian god card he was seeking had been played. Ah, bless. Wait, hold on. Fuck, what? M Merrick's voice act voice acting in the... I was trying... To I'm trying to refer to the, uh... Abridge uh, voice actors, so I'm trying to remember that mostly, if anything. So, anyways, uh... Merrick was like... Yeah! Or something like that, but I keep... Like, alright. Ah, bless. The Tormentor has been played. It's kind of like... Actually, now I, now I think about it, it kind of sounds like Papyrus from Undertale. My voice acting for Papyrus from Undertale, except, like, not over the top. So, let's try that. Mm. Ah, but unless the Tormentor has been played! Uh, what's your voice again? Odeon? Uh... I know he like likes candy a lot, so I guess he's just... I guess he's the Sans. <laughs> so, so, basically, uh, Odeon is Sans and Merrick is Papyrus. Okay. Yes, moments ago in Battle City, we've identified the card's owner, Seto Kaiba. Of course! How did you know, sir? It's quite simple. My sister Ishizu consp uh, uh, conspires against me. She gave Kaiba that card to stop me. I should have known that Ishizu is behind this whole tournament. She used her Millennium Necklace to foresee the events of Battle City. Ishizu knew she gave Obelisk the Tormentor to Kaiba. He'd throw a tournament out of greed to obtain the other Egyptian God cards. Sir, shall I order a team of rare hunters to pay Kaiba a little visit? Now, lead Kaiba to his games. First, I'll need to weaken the Pharaoh. Dispatch Arcana to take down Yagi Mato. <laughs> Alright. Uh, later in the Battle City Tournament, a strange clown lured Lugi, <laughs> Lugi, Yugi to a secret lair with dangerous contraption. Pfft, who are you, Arcana? Okay, um... Uh... <laughs> okay, now he's definitely the loud, uh, Papyrus. Unfortunately, because I'm recording this at nighttime, I don't want to go all out with the yelling. Uh... So... I guess we'll settle over that with... Well, welcome, Yugi Moto! I am the illusionist known as Arcana, and soon your favorite dark magician will be dueling for me! So, I guess German. <laughs> Nazi? I don't know if I'm. <laughs> Only a true master. I I'm not good with German accents, unfortunately, so sorry if I'm offending anyone. Only a true master of illusions is out to hold a dark magician! You will never understand its full potential! That's enough, Arcana! I know it must be hard to think of your favorite- Okay, now I'm not even- I'm just getting rid of the German accent, whatever. Your favorite card is in another duelist deck. Well, I challenge you to a duel! The winner will take the loser's Dark Magician! Wait, you also have a Dark Magician as well? Okay, more Dark Magicians? Why the fuck not, even though I already have like, three copies of it. And that's tournament legal, right? That's I accept! You must know when a duelist builds his deck, he chooses his favorites from many different types of cards. But sometimes, a card can choose a duelist. The two are connected, and the duelist can tap into the card's true potential. I'm sorry I don't have enough testosterone for a deeper voice, so you're just gonna have to settle for whatever I fuck I talk. Because each is bound by the heart of the cards. Are you gonna go for this bullshit again? A dark magician has chosen me! Enough! Let's shuffle our decks and let the show begin! Alright. Ooh, what the fuck are you, Cloudy and Atlas? This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Oh, that seems like a good effect, but I didn't read the other special effects, but so whatever. Oh, shit, I lost! I hope I get Tekken. Okay, thanks, game. <laughs> You're pitting mercy against me. That's good. Single mode, r one round. So I'm guessing that's like only one round of matches. Okay, huh, all these cards seem very familiar to me. 
I don't remember this card though. I don't, I don't think I've ever used it before. But holy shit, does it have a very good defense boost? All right. Yeah, mostly the reason why I want to go second is because I get an extra card on my arsenal, so I like to. Like, that's my strategy usually, is to have more arsenals to deal more damage or set up for stuff. Uh, what do I have in my polymerization deck? Okay, so... Wait, oh, I have... Re oh, yeah, because I have red... Oh, yeah, I forgot in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, the losers gets... The loser has to take their card and give it to the winner. So, even though technically Red-Eyes Black Dragon is Joey's card, Yugi has it, so... Because he won against the previous battle, who had, uh, which is the Exodius deck, who had Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um, pay half of your life points, holy shit. From your deck, I think I should save that. If I do that, it's only half my life points, but then again, that's still 4,000. <laughs> so I should use this as like a last minute resort then. And I have another copy, so that would be cool to use. Um... If all goes well, I could probably just tribute summon instead and not use Dark ma uh, Magic Curtain. Mirror Force, I'll set that. It's a s pretty much a staple in any Yu-Gi-Oh game. What is this again? Pay 800 light points then. Oh, so it's basically like Sneal Statch, except you steal, I mean, except you lose uh, your uh, life points instead of gaining the life points for um, your opponent. And, tar and it controls the target until the end of the phase, so it returns back. Oh, that sucks. Why not? Why not use Steel Snatch instead? Um, why? Why were you? During either player's turn, when this card is face down and no other cards is targeted. Wait, hold on. Let me uh, reword that again. So during either player's turn, when this and by reward I mean repeat what the fuck the card is saying. Um, this face. Okay, so during each player's turn, when this card is face down and no other card is. Does that include um, my trap and spell cards I put in the uh, bottom zone? I think that might count for that as well, so that might... If it does, then I don't know. Uh, it's targeted by a spell card. Oh, I know. Oh, no, 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 they're talking about the spell card that's being activated and no other cards... Okay, okay, now I get it. It's targeted by a spell card. Change this card to face up defense. Alright, that's fine. If you do... Negotiate the spell card's activation. If the card is attacked, change it to attack position at the end of the damage step. So, um... Wait, hold on. Is it both damage steps? So, if I set this, attack with whatever the fuck, or... Wait, hold on. Does it... Wait, wait. Defense. If this card... If this card oh no no never mind so it's not my turn because like I would not ever want to attack my own card why the fuck would I want to do that all right so let's yeah let's just set this for now it's a very good defense but when uh something's attacking it it'll go to attack position so if Arcana has two monsters then I'm fucked all right let's hope that let's hope he doesn't have another monster. I end my turn. Let's just pray he doesn't. <laughs> if he tributes a monster, then I'll be... Go oh, shit! He has that... Really? Really? Oh, well, f fuck. Wait, wait, hold on. It's 2016... One, one, okay, so... He's gonna lose life points. That's good. Uh... Oh, I could also... Oh, yeah, because... Well, I don't know what... Well, no, it, it's his battle phase right now. And he has not... It does not put that... Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna act my mirror force. I'm just gonna let him deal that thing, yeah. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. So he's setting up for defense. Oh yeah, so okay, so that counts as a tribute summon, so I can still summon any other monster if I want to. Got that. Got that. Huh. Alright. I'll set this back to defense. I can control his dark magic. What's this? Target one monster your opponent controls. And one monster you control. Destroy the first target, then give control to... Uh, I'm, I don't want that. I could use maybe Brain Control. So I could take over his Dark... It's only for one turn. Assuming that Beaver Warrior's attacks somehow destroys at least one of these monsters. He'll have only one monster by the end of my turn, which is Dark Magician. God, I'm, I'm becoming more like the show, aren't I? I'm describing, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining everything that's going on in case for the kids who are confused as to what the fuck's going on in this card game match.
What? Well, he already has 3,900 left, so... Oh, fuck it. I'll summon this. I'll... Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, is there another requirement? Pay half of your life points. Special summon one Dark Magician from your deck. You cannot summon other monsters that turn you... Oh, shit! Oh, so I should have used this one before I summoned Beaver Warrior because it doesn't count. Okay, fuck. All right, fine. I'll use I'll use the brain control tactic, I guess. He'll he'll be able to destroy um Beaver Warrior afterwards, but eh, whatever. All right. Still should have has Steel Snatch is dead, Yugi. What the fuck's wrong with you? All right. He won't lose any life points for this, but what the fuck does that tomato do? Can I skip this? Oh, I can't skip the goddamn cutscene. It's gonna be really annoying to see every time. Because like, you know what's gonna happen. It's like, uh, okay, so Mystic to me, what do you do? In attack position, Beaver Warrior can't do shit. <laughs> and now that he knows this is the card, well, fuck me. I could activate maybe Mystic Box to destroy Dark Magician afterward. Alright. So wait, well, hold on, what does this do again? When this card effect is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one dark monster with that or less attack in the attack position. Okay, that's what. Uh, let's hope that this has less. Okay, good. Just 100 less, but it's also this. Oh my god, really? Uh, what are you doing? While this card is, while this card is the only monster on the field, it gains 1,000 attack for each card in the spell and trap zones. So 1,000. Okay. All right. Oh, I could destroy both of the monsters, actually. Right? Because one target, one monster your opponent controls, and one monster you control. Destroy the first target and get... Wait, what? What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it destroys both monsters for a second, but... Well, fuck. That changes everything. Never mind. So, basically... Well, might as well. Because... Alright. Who do I want to destroy? I'll destroy... You, I guess. And I'll give you this pack! Because it's gonna go back to his, uh... Monsters, his zone afterwards anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, here you go, have your Dark Magician back. Here, I'll give it to you earlier as well. Oh, fuck you! Well... Shit. Oh, oh and he summons another monster. Crap. Where's my pot of green when I need it? Uh... Wait, no! All the- Oh, fuck, I keep forgetting, I have Mirror Force, derp. I just do this. I'm safe. I'm fine. I'm safe. <laughs> Take that, bitch. Main phase two. End turn. All right. I'm free. <laughs> All right. Card destruction. What does you do? Ish. Okay. I can do this. Tw Wait. I could kill him. I could fucking kill him though. Bam. Activate this. It's only yeah. It's gonna cost that much. I have three copies. Attack. All right. Yeah, I'm... Oh, I can't... Oh, shit, okay, so I can only do this... Oh, okay, so yeah, it also counts for, um... Uh, I have special summon as well. If I special summon or no more summon before I activate this card... Then... Yeah, okay. Okay, I got it. Uh... Okay, so how much... If I do the math correctly... That's 25... And that's 12. Not going to... Wait, hold on. 25... Yeah, that's not... That's not gonna kill him, is it? He'll only have 200 left, so he has one more turn to live. And uh, this car is not even going to help it either, because it's only 100 less. Alright, got it. If he has uh, the Dark Magician card, the Dark Magic Curtain card, then... Alright, only one character in defense, and one set card. Alright, this could be trouble now. Uh, what do you do? Oh, fuck him. You're gonna die anyways, unless you... And might as well activate this card, because why the fuck not? Oh, shit! Dark Magician! I discarded it! Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to safe route. Bam. Okay, so... And, of course, I have to do this shit again. Konami, you made fucking Metal Gear Solid 5. Why the fuck does this game look terrible? <laughs> it's still fun regardless, especially if you know the Yu-Gi-Oh! meta game, so... Hey, okay. Uh, it can't be! There is no way you could have defeated me! Yugi, I am the greatest magician the world has ever known! 
Oh, fuck, no, it's now that guy. You relied on trickery to win instead of trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. Arcana is gone! So we meet again, little Yugi. I'm sure I need no introduction. Show me your face, Merrick, you coward. I'll reveal myself to you when the time is right or no sooner. Once I obtain what's mine, and you know what's exactly what I want, the unlimited power of the ancient pharaoh, the spirits that live within your puzzle. Tell me why you want the pharaoh's power. Because that power is rightfully mine, and once I have it, I will be unstoppable. The world will be blah 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 blah. Okay, so basically you just want to rule the world. Oh yeah? Just watch me, Merrick. Listen, little Yugi. My family has not slip blah 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 blah. Okay. I shall be the pharaoh! <laughs> Never. You won't get the power of the pharaoh, and I'll make sure of it. Okay, so yeah, basically... That's a slave. What's the car name? Where? The quiet one. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, a new duel for... Okay. First duel. New duelist. A new deck. Okay. So I get new decks, everything else, and... Yeah, okay. Uh... Next up! Oh shit, only eight matches left. Alright. How long have I been recording? If it's a while, then, um... I'll take a break, but if it's only been, like, a short while, then... Keep on going. 60 minutes. Alright, we'll take a break after this, and we'll be right back. We're gonna fight against... Are you Weevil, or... You're Weevil, right? I I keep mixing up Weevil and Rex a little bit, but uh, I think you're Weevil. You're the bug guy. Anyways, be right back. Yeah, playing with a parasite. That's definitely Weevil. Weevil. 